astronaut reacts to NASA leaked video. Part two. Okay, we're heading out. Doing that is against moral ethics. Lying about going to the moon is a satanic lie hey, of gigantic proportions. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you get well, I'm heading out. I appreciate it. And get the hell out of the house. Do you get a gun and shoot them at them before they get out of the office? <laughs> we have a video camera running if you want to do it. Right. I, I, that would be great footage for us. See you later. In court, I hope. You want to call the CIA? Have them whacked. That's what it is. This is, what is this? Oh, this is a shot from 130,000 miles out. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I guess it's it from moon, approaching. Or, or, the, it's from approaching the moon, looking back at the Earth. Mm -hmm. Now I've seen this on a couple of flights. Is, do, was this something that you got? Although this is from Apollo 11, did you shoot a shot of the Earth like this? Mm -hmm. So you had a, a TV camera in the spacecraft. That's correct. And this is, I guess, the Earth zoomed in at a distance. Yep, seems they to be. They get shot a little bit halfway to the moon. Mm-hmm. Now it's kind of, now I guess the cloud cover looks what you're looking right. at. Now what is that right there? What is what? There's like an arm, it looks like hair on an arm getting in front of the window. Now maybe somebody, maybe <clears throat> somebody got their <clears throat> arm in front now of I it. I thought that was the arm of God <laughs> moving <laughs> right. across the earth. Mm -hmm. I couldn't quite figure and that out. I suspect out. that was the edge of the window, more than likely, that they were shooting at. What did the Earth look like from a great distance? There about it is like again, 130,000 miles out. About like that. So it was pretty small <coughs> at the distance of the moon? Yes, but I think the better images are the Hasselblad images that have been taken on every flight and are the most published pictures in the history of the world. What is that in the top left? If that's the Earth, is that like another spacecraft? No, oh, no, no, no. But I have no idea what that is. It's uh, some aberration on the film of some sort. Oh, those are shadows, I think. Or reflections, probably reflections that are just reflecting. Turn that back there. again so we get another shot of it. If we you're going to press me on this, I'm not going to talk to you anymore because I won't pursue this. All of this attempt to say the Apollo programs were fake is just sheer nonsense and you can talk till hell freezes over and you're wrong. Okay. Well, would you affirm? I won't continue well, on this line. Would you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? You bet your sweet ass. Okay, put your left hand on the Bible. Put your left hand on the Bible. Raise your right hand and say, I, Edgar Mitchell. I, Edgar Mitchell. Affirm. Affirm. Under penalty of eternal damnation. I don't believe in that, but under if you penalty think of eternal damnation. That I walked on the moon on Apollo 14. That I walked on the moon on Apollo 14. Well, you know, you're the first astronaut to do that. We asked six other astronauts to swear on the Bible, and they refused to do it. Well, <laughs> I don't particularly like to take oaths like that either, because I don't accept the Bible as a gospel of anything except a historical record. But we did go to the moon. You bet your sweet ass we went to the moon. Okay, turn off the camera. Your interview is done. I've given you all the time I'm going to give you. Okie dokie. Good to meet you. I don't say it's a pleasure. I understand. Please get your ass out of my house. Okay. And you came here under false pretenses, and I think you're an asshole. Well, and if you continue this, and if you press us, I will personally take you to court. I, I hope that you do. I invite you to. I'm going to give you my card so you can arrange that. And I'm encouraging I, you to you're arrange. Frank, you're frankly not worth it. No, no. I, I, we have you on the record saying you'll take me to court. I hope you do. Because we have proof that would prove it in a court of law that Apollo 11 didn't go to the moon. <laughs> and I think it's something that you should see. I don't say that lightly, believe me. I don't say it lightly. You, you, you have joking, sir. 